In this clip, Uncle Bob speaks on software architecture and how it can change as a project evolves. Is architecture fixed? When you, when you initially decide what shape the system is going to be, is that the shape that the system will be? And the answer to that is no. Because as you begin to write the individual lines of code and as you begin to assemble the modules in that system, you will find that there are pressures created by those modules and by those lines of code that impinge upon the architecture and cause it to change shape. And this changing shape of the architecture continues every time someone adds a new feature or asks for a change to a feature or adds a new facility to the system. That puts pressure on the architecture and the architecture must respond. Therefore, the architecture is a living, breathing thing. It changes with the system on a day-to-day -day basis. It is not some fixed map that we all follow for the next 10 years. It's going to be something that we always have to adjust and tweak and twiddle and respond to throughout the lifetime of any software project. While it's true that software architecture changes with time, it's still important to keep some high-level structure in mind during the development process. Depending on the type of software you're building, there's usually an architecture known to handle scaling particularly well. Android developers, for example, are familiar with the MVVM architecture. For web developers, this may be MVC or component-based architectures like those used in React or Angular. For backend developers, layered or hexagonal architectures are often preferred. But regardless of the architecture you choose, it's likely that over time it will evolve, sometimes subtly, sometimes dramatically, into a version of itself that fits the specific problems you're trying to solve. Out-of-the-box architectures solve generic problems, but real-world applications often require something more tailored. This transformation tends to be successful when it happens through the continuous refactoring and the disciplined application of best practices. In other words, architecture should adapt, but it should do so intentionally not chaotically. Thoughts? Subscribe for more.